box between the guard on one side and the tight end on the other. And Jermaine has a man in the end zone and a touchdown, Utah. Justin Skaggs. Last night, the Blaze home opener, an absolutely packed and rocking crowd at the Delta Center. Justin Skaggs, three receptions, 47 yards, the touchdown you just saw. Thanks for being with us tonight. I know a little bit of a bittersweet evening because in some respects, things couldn't have gone better in terms of the show. Right. But the, you end up with a, a three-point loss. But give me your impressions on the first night of arena ball here in Utah. Man, I'll tell you what, uh, we were excited. Packed house. It was a great, great experience. Great fans, man. It was a great night. It's just too bad we couldn't follow up with a win. You know, I think one of the uh, – I, I, was, I was sitting down near the end zone, and the fans there kept yelling – every time Dallas would get the ball. You're going to have to cover the deep ball because uh, you had a little trouble with that. In fact, uh, it was uh, Terrell. What's a Terrell shot? 208 yards, four right. touchdowns. Did you expect to see? And I know you had some injuries. Well, we had a key injury in yeah. Kelvin Hunter, man. Kelvin Hunter's the leader of our de defense. I mean, he's the leader of our defense, you know, and uh, it's a tough, tough loss for him. And it's going to be two to four weeks before we get him back. So we're going to have to uh, rep the shore up. We're going to have to get better. That's all we can do. Just an interesting situation towards the end of this game because you're, you're still in it despite the injuries and that that we just talked about. But uh, you score a touchdown. Danny White decides to go for two. You're only down three. Now, fans of the regular football game would assume you kick the point after, then you're down two, and hopefully you hold them and uh, you kick a field goal to win it. But that's not the case in Reed Mall. Uh, and White fully admitted the plan was to go for two and then let them have a touchdown. What do you think of that? Well, in this league, I mean, as you can see with the points, you know, 53 to 50, We've got a lot of points scored. Points happen really fast. So uh, Coach had a plan. I think a lot of our guys were questioning his call, though. But uh, he's got a plan, and it can happen really quick. I would assume it's actually kind of difficult to question Danny White. <laughs> he's had yeah. the kind of success he's had. Isn't yeah. it? Coach has done really well in this league, and uh, you know what? He's going to do whatever he can for us to win. So. Justin, last year you played in Orlando for John Gruden's brother. Yeah. who's the head coach there. Uh, you get picked up in the expansion draft. Give me your thoughts, first of all, when you came here and then when you heard you'd be playing for Danny White. Well, I was excited. Um, granted, you know, when I was with the team for a year, I obviously want to go back to that, that team, but means I went in the expansion draft. Um, I was excited for the new opportunity. Uh, I was excited to play for Coach White. And, uh, man, I'm, I'm pumped to be here. I'm really happy to be in the city and play for this coach and play for this team. So I, I guess the goal now is to keep that crowd coming. That Absolutely. We had last night. Absolutely. Yeah, we got New York. And every game up. is going to get better. Every game is going to get better. I can promise that we are going to become a better football team every week. You spent a little time. You were with the Redskins a few years back. You were in 49ers camp. Uh, you know a couple guys who were playing in the Super Bowl today. Yeah. Did you watch the game? I did watch the game. What did, did you think? Who were you pulling for? I was pulling for the Steelers. Ah, uh, man, 14 years. Coach, coach deserves a ring, man. Coward, and yeah. uh, I tell you, it was a it was a good game. It really was. It was a good game. You, you, you and I were talking a little bit about the level of competition, and you played in Amsterdam, I believe, overseas. Mm -hmm. But you believe that the AFL players, the Arena League players, that is the next step down from the NFL, even better than Canada or any of these other. I, I think so, and I've played. I haven't played in Canada, but um, I have played in Europe. And the caliber athletes that you see in the Arena League is, uh, is it's very competitive. It's a high quality athlete, and uh, I do believe that the Arena League has turned into a farm system for the NFL. And uh, it's the next step. Well, I'm sure you'd love to one day get back to the show, but in the meantime, I know the fans enjoy seeing you here, and we appreciate you being with us. Right. Thank Justin, you. Thanks a lot. Appreciate next week, New York, by the way, uh, in the Delta Center. We right. appreciate that. By the way, you can get involved. You can ask a question if you would like, or as we like to say, fan the flame. That's right. All you have to do is email your question, and every Saturday night on Talking Sports, we will ask that. Just email it at asktheblaze at KUTV2.com and fan the flame.